thank everybody for coming out tonight for what I think is going to be a very, very important evening. Uh, my name is Fred Litwin. I'm the president of the Free Thinking Film Society. Uh, there's a few new faces here tonight, so I'll just take a, tell a brief, uh, take a brief moment to tell you a little bit about the Free Thinking Film Society. Um, I started Free Thinking Films in 2007, uh, largely because of Michael Moore. So I was uh, sitting here in Ottawa, getting pretty discouraged and uh, outraged by his film Fahrenheit 911, which was basically a film full of lies. And uh, I found a filmmaker in the States who had made a film called Michael Moore Hates America. And I asked the Bytown Cinema if they would bring in this film, and they said no. And so I got a bunch of friends together, and we decided, you know what, we could bring in this film and others uh, ourselves. And I went down to the uh, Rainbow Cinema in the St. Laurent Shopping Center. I hired the cinema for $400. And the first film I wanted to show was, uh, by the time I got the theater, I wanted to show something else. It was about radical Islam. And I rented the theater. And uh, to make a long story short, right around a week before the showing, uh, the Rainbow Cinema canceled the movie because they were afraid to show it. And they gave me my money back. And I had to run out and find another venue which was the downtown public library, and uh, got some publicity, ended up selling out. Uh, it was a great first event. I was quite happy. Um, but we, we try to show films and bring in panel discussions and speakers on freedom, liberty, democracy. We've done events, we've done many events on China, we've done events on North Korea, we've done events on Cuba, we've done events on political correctness. Uh, I did my own. Uh, documentary on the biases of the CBC. We've covered 9-11. Um, uh, We've covered a whole variety of, of topics. Uh, please go to our website. You can see uh, what's coming up uh, in the future. Our next event is going to be on November 2nd here at the Archives. It's a Sunday night. Um, it's a film called Body and Soul, The State of the Jewish Nation. And it's a film that examines the relationship of the Jewish people to the land of Israel. And uh, Rabbi Bolka will be there on November 2nd. The uh, ambassador of Israel to Canada will be there. Urban Koffer will be here to answer questions. And we're flying up the filmmaker from Boston, Gloria Greenfield, for that film as well. So it's going to be uh, quite an interesting uh, evening. If you want to buy tickets, we have tickets on sale for that event here tonight. Um, but don't miss it. It's November 2nd. I think we're going to really uh, sell out the auditorium uh, for that event. In prior years, we've, uh, we've typically held a film festival every November, and I've been getting a few emails asking me, uh, asking me about this year's film festival, and uh, we're not having one this year, uh, largely because I've been busy uh, writing a book. So I've decided to take some time off, uh, and I'm writing a book about my political journey over the years, when I, where I used to be a uh, left-wing anti-nuclear activist in Toronto to uh, somebody who was... Uh, well, needless to say, changed his positions on a variety of issues. So I thought I would uh, take the time out and write a book. And rather than spend my summer uh, watching movies, which, believe me, is a lot of fun, I thought I would take the summer to, to write. So hopefully, uh, um, uh, well before the next election, well, my book will be out and we'll have a big event here at the archives. Okay, so um, on to tonight. Um, Tonight is a very important night, and we have covered uh, the issue of China many times in the past. Uh, two years ago, we showed the, uh, the Canadian premiere of a film, Death by China, uh, which was a fantastic film and covered uh, China's trade practices and a variety of other uh, issues. And what made that film so interesting was that, was that the filmmaker was coming up for the film, and uh, you know, I, I rarely get interest from the CBC. They rarely. Uh, have any interest in my films. In that event, they actually had a little bit of interest and they contacted me if they could interview the filmmaker and they actually contacted the filmmaker um, in uh, Chicago on the way to Ottawa and uh, but they, they, they ended up not even using uh, his bid at all because uh, uh, they were interested in talking about investments because Canada was talking about uh, whether it should ban uh, further Chinese investments in the, in the uh, in the oil sands, and, and he was uh, an expert in ethics, and they just thought that ethics and investments don't mix, and uh, decided not to, uh, not to interest him. But that's the way it goes with a lot of stuff that I do. 
So tonight, we're very, very fortunate to have somebody very, very special in Ottawa to help moderate the evening. Uh, Rabbi Bulka is here, and I'm really, really proud and, and happy that he's uh, donated a bit of his generous time to be here tonight. Uh, of course, uh, as you know, Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Bulka heads up the congregation Machzikai Adas. He's written many books. He's a writer. He's a broadcaster. He's on CFRA on Sunday nights. Uh, you hear him every year at, uh, at uh, Memorial at uh, Remembrance Day here in Ottawa. Um, he's won the Order of Canada. He's very involved in the promotion of organ donation programs. He's the chair of the Trillium Gift of Life Network and a board member of Canadian Blood Services. And he's written and published articles about uh, forced organ harvesting in China. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rabbi Volkoff. <laughs> 